You know, you and I use expressions that I think can often give an incorrect understanding of our faith or even affect our spiritual life. We use the expression a lot and we see it in the newspapers. So-and-so received the lost rites of the Roman Catholic Church. And we immediately think of the sacrament of the anointing of the sick as being accompanied by the undertaker or the emergency room. Now, you and I believe that every sacrament we receive is a personal encounter with the risen Jesus Christ. It's a meeting with him. Now, while we live in him like we live in the air, while we experience him within ourselves, we feel the workings of his resurrection power on our minds and hearts. We experience him in the love we give and receive. In the sacraments, we meet Christ in a unique and a special way where he does something to us that is different than all other meetings with him. Now, the anointing of the sick is for those who are infirm, in other words, unwell, because of either sickness or old age or alienation from the community. And therefore, if, let's say, I had arthritis and there's no danger of death, but I'm confined to the house a lot and I'm depressed and I haven't got the strength I used to, then I can receive the sacrament of the anointing of the sick because, frankly, I could use a visit from Jesus who might buoy up my spirits, give me strength to go another week, and bring a little peace and happiness and acceptance of a cross into my life. You see, once we say that the sacrament is a meeting with Jesus, where he does something particular, then we look at the sacrament of the anointing of the sick, I think, a little differently. We don't have to be dying. We don't have to be unconscious. We want to meet the Lord. We want to draw from him. We want an effective meeting. And if we feel shut out, confined, depressed, lonely from age or sickness, then meet with Jesus in this great sacrament. Thank mm -hmm. you.